Item number SCP-6579, Security Level 2, Containment Class Archon, Disruption Class Kenick, Risk Class Critical, Special Containment Procedures, all Foundation personnel which have been killed by SCP-6579 are to be incinerated via weaponized drone units operated by Shy Guy AIC. Containment Procedures Addendum Access to Dr. Cambridge's office is completely restricted. Investigation into SCP-6579 is to be entirely carried out by Shy Guy AIC. Description SCP-6579 is an entity or object presumably occupying the office of the late Dr. Cambridge, a Foundation researcher specializing in anti-memes located in Site-41. SCP-6579 is most likely some form of brilliant info hazard that is capable of spreading its properties through human beings it has already affected. SCP-6579 is the most likely cause of death for Dr. Cambridge. Any human being who views Dr. Cambridge or who spends a significant amount of time observing his office is terminated by SCP-6579. Additionally, any human who views another human being killed by SCP-6579 is likewise terminated. As such, research into SCP-6579's properties is highly inconclusive. As any attempts to observe the effects of SCP-6579 result in its activation, all that is known is which Foundation personnel have been killed by SCP-6579 as determined by Shy Guy AIC. Their interactions with SCP-6579 and their causes of death are unknown. Incident Log The following is a log of all incidents involving SCP-6579, which have been relayed in such a manner that reading such logs is unlikely to result in death. Incident 6579-11 Dr. Garner, a close associate of Cambridge, enters the hallway leading up to the latter's office. He opens the door and shortly after entering the office is immediately killed by SCP-6579. Incident 6579-12 Dr. Simmons and Fitzgerald enter the hallway. Both of them notice that the door has been left ajar walk towards it and are immediately terminated by SCP-6579 upon entering the room. Incident 6579-13 Dr. Leroy enters the hallway and notices the legs of Dr. Fitzgerald sticking out of Cambridge's office. He immediately pulls the lever on the wall to activate the alarm, locking down the site and activating Shy Guy AIC's adaptive containment algorithm. Leroy slowly walks towards the office and upon being able to feel Fitzgerald's head is terminated by SCP-6579. Incident 6579-14 Unit 2 of MTF Mu 15 September enters the hallway. The unit is led by Agent Watt who is terminated by SCP-6579 as he approaches Dr. Leroy. All other members of the unit are progressively killed by SCP-6579. Following Incident 6579-14, Shy Guy AIC completed its automated threat supervision and containment contingencies and restricted access to the hallway leading towards Dr. Cambridge's office. Shortly thereafter, Shy Guy AIC completed its containment protocol generation algorithm and constructed the scp 6579 documentation. All of the personnel terminated by SCP-6579 were incinerated by weaponized drones and agents were permitted access to Dr. Cambridge's office. Incident 6579-21 Unit 3 of MTF Mu-15 entered Cambridge's office. After several minutes of investigation, all members of the unit were terminated by SCP-6579. Following the incident, access to Dr. Cambridge's office was again restricted. Shy Guy AIC reconsidered and revised the existing containment procedures for SCP-6579. Addendum 
an investigation of Dr. Cambridge's office was carried out by drones operated by Shy Guy AIC. After several minutes, it was discovered that Cambridge's computer had been recording audio since shortly prior to his death. The recording was ascertained to contain information which could activate SCP-6579. A transcript was taken by Shy Guy AIC for further analysis. Warning, the following document contains a deadly info hazard. Access is prohibited. Lock override accepted. In the years if I've studied anti-memetics, I've been able to teach lots of new members of the division about anti-memes. In general, an anti-meme refers to information which prevents itself from being shared or remembered. It is the opposite of a meme. Which is a standard unit of information? One that will naturally spread. Naturally, the entire memes we deal with are anomalous in nature. They literally cannot be remembered or communicated. But there are also non-anomalous entire memes, secrets which, because of what they are, prevent the people who know about them from sharing them. So we have anomalous and non-anomalous entire memes. But the common thing between both of them is that they both operate based on the information they carry. Considering the very basic definition of an anti-meme, could that mean there are other ways an anti-meme could operate, like physically preventing people from remembering or sharing information? They are not really meant to be encompassed by the traditional definition of an anti-meme, because the information itself doesn't actually prevent the sharing of information. I am not really certain about a non-anomalous anti-meme like this would be. I definitely would think an anomalous version could exist, like SCP-096's face is anti-memetic. If you see it, you won't remember it for very long, because it will inevitably kill you. You could also consider some equations to be anti-memetic, seeing as the bear almost always ends up killing you anyway. Other things could be like a baseball bat that hits you in the head and gives you amnesia when you remember it. Or then that, when you think about it or investigate it, manifests an gunshot.